politicians are gutting rights for people we care about, for communities we care about, for the whole planet. There's an on-the-ground voter intimidation campaign. A constellation of fights that are happening at the same time. The situation's pretty dire. Force birth, don't say gay. We are so close to losing these rights that our movements have spent generations fighting for. If we want to fight back, protect democracy, human rights, the future of our country, for ourselves and for our future selves, we clearly have a path to victory. Funding grassroots organizing in swing states, in key battleground areas, is the single most important thing we can be doing. One of the only ways that we can save our democracy. And that's exactly what MVP does. But that takes money. We're in a midterm election, and midterm elections are really about turnout. What is important is building our base and building our infrastructure. To substantially resource groups on the ground. Making sure that organizers and organizations are able to level up. Getting people out to vote and motivating people. Showing people what's at stake. There are people in communities that are building relationships. They can knock on doors, can have long conversations. To get people excited about getting involved in local and state and federal elections. And that's what the groups that MVP supports are doing. Building day after day, week after week, organizing month after month, and building power year after year. Not just to help ensure that we have victory in 2022. It is more than about just one moment. Really, this is about building a world where we can all thrive. Actually creating sustainable change. Transformative change. That is what we are funding. I believe that change is in our generation. But we have a lot of work to do. And we can't do it without donors. When you're engaged with MVP, when you're donating through MVP, organizing through MVP, you have no regrets.